Yeah, now let's make sure we didn't eat all cool food Fuck, boys are back live, right? Boys are back live. Only took six months off. Yeah, longer, eh? Uh, I don't know. Well, the thing is, for people listening, it'll just be a week, so they won't even know. Yeah, it's a week. I wonder yeah. if they... We haven't had a big break, I swear. <laughs> no, I wonder if they can tell I'm three stone heavier, for my voice sake. <laughs> uh, I can hear his fat <laughs> <laughs> fucking sleep up yeah, yeah. um yeah no you mentioned it the other day it's like oh yeah you can tell dylan had a new missus <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, it's just everybody does it all the time oh but natural first step of the relationship is pie off your friends isn't it yeah because you've it's got this like, fucking, somebody was saying the other day oh so-and-so so-and-so's got a new partner and i can't remember it was new boyfriend or new girlfriend they put loads of weight on and you're like I was like, yeah, well, you should lose it all from all the shagging you do. I was like, well, not really. No. Like, you, do, you do do a lot of shagging, but you do a lot more calorie intakes as well. We're going on all these dates and fucking food in the house and, <laughs> and I cheese and films and that. I didn't need carbs for two years, but fucking... Yeah, and then as soon as you started again, it's like... Ah, oh, I'll have a slice. Oh, in, instead of keto, I'll go to 100 grams of carb. I was working out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm happy. Though. Excuses, Ed. I'm happy. This yeah, is what... you look. You do. You still look all right, fit. Like, you... oh yeah, I, I'm certainly a bit more plump, like. But yeah. well, I checked on three stone over Christmas, and yeah. I've lost. I've lost two of it already, so I'm not kidding. I had a massive anxiety attack, or when I like stood on the scales after Christmas. Yeah, genuine. I was like, oh, yeah. I, re- I really hope I'm not 15 stone, really hope I'm not 15 stood on. And it was like 17, 7. And it's just oh, like, fuck. Felt- Especially when you were, yeah, you had that number in your head as well. Oh, but I felt the fall, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like going to the bank, because you're like checking your fucking bank balance. You're like, oh, you only spent 100 pounds, you only spent 100 pounds, mm. like minus 200. You're like, ah, fuck. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, the exciting thing about having a new girlfriend is in the first nine months, you get to meet three Brand new people. Yeah. Who she, who she pretends to be in the first three months. <laughs> 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 who she pretends to be in the second three months. <laughs> and then the collection of all the childhood traumas in the other three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she fucking knew what she is. So. <laughs> oh, but, uh, we had a conversation here. At least it's going to be a while. So she she's uh, in the other room. I'm not I have no idea how loud I'm talking, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> she might she might be live casting right now. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good, man. And she's yeah. happy anyway. Yeah. Happy enough, you know. I'm not hoping. Once I met her, she seemed tidy enough, so Yeah, she alright. She likes you. Is she? Yeah. It's kind of hard not doing it. Mm, you are quite enough. <laughs> 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 Uh, you know. Well, I have like, do you know women just read porn all the time? So, you know these books they read. Yeah, like I wouldn't know. No, it was like I, I can't read. But I can't, <laughs> but... <laughs> Does your missus read books? A lot. I guarantee it's porn, but it's fucking Charlotte's reading one about secret fairies, and there's a war with fairies. Right, and there's like. She's talking about really graphic sex scenes, like she can't handle his cock and that, and he wanted to come in. I'm like, what the fuck is this? What? What fucking filth is this in this Christian household? I have to question her when I go to bed. Yeah. Ask her if there's sex scenes in her books. Mm. <laughs> Are you reading about only fairies? <laughs> oh, man. It's ridiculous, it is. Uh, I don't know. I think... No, I'm not saying that she happened. I don't fucking... I don't read her books or read any books, but I know she does like um like crime murder porn. Murder porn, uh, yeah. women love porn. They love a good murder, don't they? Yeah. Oh she loves like murder documentaries and 
Um, oh, shit. The only thing I ever seen her kind of she didn't quite shy away from it, but she did have second thoughts on continue watching. It was the fucking the Jimmy Savile thing. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be brutal, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I've only watched it. No, I haven't. I know it's right up my street. Like, it's hard to see. Yeah. It's hard to see the oh, fall of a legend, fun. though. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it is awful. And you know, it is so fucking blatant and obvious. Yeah, like, you know, I genuinely think well, that's just the way that the things were back then. Well, you did have a lot more sort of. Well, uh, yeah, the misogynism and stuff was more. Is that even a word? Misogynism. You were close, but misogyny. It is now. I, I was misogyny. That's the word. I was going to let that roll, but yeah, um, it was it was a lot more back then, wasn't it? Like women's yeah, places right. within the kitchen and. I, I'm not the fucking breadwinners and shit they got. So I'm, yeah, the good old days. Shit, <laughs> the good old days when they had things right. Yeah. When he was allowed to chain him to the sink, and I. Well, but, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to do that now, am I? No, no. Uh, but I've got it with a hacksaw and like a key implanted in his skull, and I. Do 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 do. Fucking, I love them films. But, I don't know. I think I've gone squeamish lately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't watch TV for ages, and then me and Charles got together. And like she stopped me watching my nuclear reactor documentaries and that. Yeah. She described earlier what I watched on Terry. She's like, a documentaries about bridges and trains and that. <laughs> Autistic as fuck. I know. I was going to say, how didn't it get picked up sooner? Ah, uh, uh, no, I love, I love shit that guy. Oh, fuck. Like, she freaking. We started it, watching. What you said ever. Been squeamish watching films, and I was when he—I I don't like syringes anyway. But when yeah. just thrown in a fucking needle pit on saw, I be fucking. I, I proper made my toes curl and fucking heave at the same time. You say you can take lots of stuff. You fucking spurred out when I put that tampon in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, no, <nah>, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad vampires tea bag. <laughs> Ah, that is actually quite funny though. <laughs> um, yeah, and when he fucking Dirty Sanchez a movie when he drank pants was fat. <laughs> That's the only twice I've ever watched a film and then gone Bleh. like he was in agony getting that light bulb, wasn't he? Yeah, it's a fucking backstreet clinic in Thailand as well, isn't it? So it's not fucking <laughs> So, I would do I would watching him doing it, man. He's just fucking ramming it yeah. up and his ribs and everything. I go, oh, fuck. When you when you think liposuction, you think they just put something in and it sucks it out. You, they you don't mm. think that they have to break it all up, do you? Yeah. And watching it all coming out like fucking <laughs> ass fucking bad out. I mean, maybe that's what I need is some fucking tie liposuction. Nah, fuck that, man. Nah, I just fucking do steroids and I. I got a good over. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> my work's over is banging, but I'll fucking suck it all out though. I like my fat. No, it's so my... wet and dry as well, so it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> wet vac. Um, I no, my my fat would probably taste foul because it absorbs all. Would, it? Yeah, well, I don't know. Pig fat tastes nice. Bacon. Aye, when it's fried. Aye, when it's, when it's yeah, cooked, yeah, just yeah. fucking naked raw or whatever. Uh, to have a pint of pig fat and just be like, oh, it's just going to taste like soft pork scratchings. Ah, like. oh, liquid pork. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy, liquid pork. Yeah, oh yeah, so we were watching the new Stranger Things. He was just drinking milk. Yeah. yeah. Pedophile vibes. I drink milk, every, a pint of milk every night. Fucking hell. That's... All right, I'm not even going to mention that. Um, Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, we're drinking milk. That's weird, man. That's fucking Jimmy Savile Aye. drunk milk. Aye. Yeah, man. He also fucking he was strong as well. He was strong. He he definitely <laughs> they didn't get away from him. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Um. So yeah, we were watching Stranger Things, the new season of it. I was yeah. like, I'm scared. This is scary. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I've, ne- I've never watched it. And it's something I know that I would love and get into. Ah, it's but... class. Yeah, it's spooked. I've never the... got on to... It spooked the shit out of me. 
And then you watch two episodes and you're just desensitized again. It's bizarre. Yeah. You have Mason be... uh, knows everything about Stranger Things. He's five and he's never watched it. Huh. He's just fucking... He knows what a demigod is and all the character names. All of you too, isn't it? Oh, is it? And uh, yeah, and he's mad for Lego. So last week we had to order Stranger Things Lego set. <laughs> it come from fucking China or somewhere. It's the weeks to come. Jeez, I've been looking into fake Lego. It's so much cheaper. That's what these are, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's what these are, really. It's just, they don't, they do, if you, when you've been on YouTube and stuff, and he says, oh, I want to see Stranger Things Lego. Yeah. When you put it on, there's only, well, at that point, anyway, I don't know if anything new would come out, but there's only, like, one sort of Stranger Things Lego set as it was done. Yeah. And there was only, like, three characters were there. Mm. But in this one, that we've ordered from China, there's fucking, they've got all their bikes. <laughs> all the all the kids, the demagogue fucking monster thing and everything. Aye. You know what it's like in China though, and the black little black kid will come in separate packaging. <laughs> Segregated. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, that might be censored. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Just cut it out completely. <laughs> no, I think it's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh so sorry about the confusion. There was one about going up the Lamb of God. Oh, that was funny as fuck. I was looking at it. I was like, I gave, <laughs> I bought tickets for three of the boys, and I might get it left in Cardiff. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, no, because last I said you about going, you said I said you were going to stay in the room because you were working the next day. Mm. Or you're gonna because Pete is going, you haven't lift back with Pete. Yeah, said, oh, I'll have a lift back with Pete. So I just assumed that that was. I thought we were talking already about, sorted. See, I thought we were talking about the lift there. I thought ah, right. it was all of us going there in one car and back in one car. But that's what I was trying to get at earlier. Yeah, all of us going in one car. I said I'd pay for the petrol or whatever. Oh, well, we can as long as we can all fit in the car, it's fine. No, can't. No, I've gone to cancel oh. the room and I'm fucking too late. Okay. Oh, I'm just well. going to pay for it, so me and Scott are just going to stay have, anyway. Have a night out in car. Uh, Brazil. Yes, Brazil. Yeah, I know um, one of the boys from over Ferndale. I know he's going. Oh, but I haven't yeah. seen him for a bit, like, so. Oh, have a little romantic getaway in your hotel, is it? Yeah, the last time I seen him was in um, Tom Taylor's wedding. It's shit out of the West as well, all these days. No, well, we're good. Bit shout out the. <laughs> Oh, I know Ben. I met him at Download years ago. Yeah, Ginger Ben. Yeah, we're going to have to censor this. He got arrested oh. at Download, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he was a fucking animal. <laughs> years ago, but... Who's that boy with him? Who... Carl? I don't know. Be careful of names. I have to censor all these. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I know. I know. I, I know. Anyway, all, like... so you just, I, I said, careful with the names. You just fired out another one for a laugh. Uh, one of them got so hammered on wine that he dug a hole and he was laying in there and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, I'm burying myself. And he just buried himself. Sounds like... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he, yeah. Gave, he gave me poppers as well. Uh, um, I remember Ben telling me once. I was, might have been in Tits where I didn't actually about drinking. I, yeah. I, I can't drink whiskey. Yeah. And I was like, oh, why not? He said it. He said literally, he said it's like a switch goes off in my head. Yeah. You can't remember nothing. <laughs> and he is a fucking horrible. Class. And apparently, he necked two bottles of whiskey his first day and download one, yeah? Uh, that, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. He's got a brother as well. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. His brother works in a shop too. It took a bunch of um, police to take him down. Fair play to him. Yeah. Yeah. Talking Ginger about. Temper, oh, yeah, but that's big real. <laughs> Yeah. Talking about getting battered the other day. Um, I didn't drink for seven weeks of this year. Um, works end of month drinks. Can when I drank a bottle of prosecco. Nice. An half a bottle of gin. I was having fun, having fun, and then we went out. That was before you went out. Yeah, that was in the office. <laughs> right. Went to go out. And we got to the slug and lettuce where I was Oosh. like, I'm going to go get some money out for... Uh... <laughs> and then I was like, oh, no, fuck this. I'm just going to go home. I'm going to be a good boy and go home. Good boy, go home. So I just dipped out. Got to the house. 
and there was just like half a bottle of gin sitting in my guts. Yeah. I thought, I'm going to be fine. Message the missus who was working, saying, oh, I'm about a six out of ten drunk. I'm all right. I'm all right. And that fucking bottle of gin <laughs> sat in my guts, made his way to my bloodstream. <laughs> I ate an entire bag of mozzarella from the fridge. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, I think I'm in trouble. Was it shredded or was it still in a bowl? It's like fresh mozzarella. Shredded. Why does the <laughs> Why does the one in bowls come in with pre-cum, packaged, covered in pre-cum? Uh, I don't know. Pass. Okay. Um, Have we ever drunk it? No. It's fucking Some... rank. Don't bother. Is it? <laughs> I'll taste like mozzarella, no. <laughs> you want to have a pre-cum now or mozzarella pre-cum? Oh, I thought you were on about pre-cum. <laughs> no, mozzarella. <laughs> no, the um, yeah, so I, I realized I was in trouble then. So yeah. I, I dry scooped a scoop of pre workout into my mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I always do that when I'm hammered. I'm like, shit, loads of caffeine will fix me. I need to come up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? But, uh, then I can't remember anything. There's a 1992. Women's division. Alexa, drop in on living room dot. Shalissa? Shalissa? Could you pass me my trophy, please? Thank you. Is you can you use Alexa like a fucking intercom? Yeah. I do, yeah. Alexa drop. That is fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> my flat is literally two rooms. She's on the other side of that door, and I, I intercom between rooms. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. You're still in there. Oh, Alexa, drop out. That appeared. Yeah. On so just, for the, just for the listeners who can't see, <laughs> Dylan is showing me a trophy. Right. I think I, I must have stolen it from work when I was drunk. But it says Newport West side, Summer Darts League, 1992, Ladies Division 1, runners-up. All right. Well, that's in my Where possession. Where did you get from? I have not a fucking clue, but... Well, did you just walk up there? Yep. <laughs> class. Charlotte pointed <laughs> out it just now, and she was like, like oh, I'm going to need to censor her name. I'm going to call her Shalissa. Um, Shalissa. She pointed out it, and she was like, what the fuck, fuck is that? I was like, fuck if I know. Yeah, I'm a winning women's darts runner runner up from 1992. I remember getting hammered down my dad's when I lived in Slashley. Yeah. And my bedroom's in the attic. Yeah. Um woke up. I had the classic traffic cone. Oh, you've got to have a traffic cone at some point. That's a right in the attic, baby. So I wrestled the traffic cone home from somewhere up two flights of stairs <laughs> <laughs> without anybody noticing. And then inside the traffic cone, sticking out the top like a vase, was these, oh, I can't remember what they're called. I've got them in my living room. These like fucking, they look like feathery plants. They just, they never die. They oh, never I know, anything. yeah. I can't remember what the fuck they're called, but... But they were massive, like way bigger than the ones I've got. Yeah. Just sticking out the top where I was like, how the fucking hell did I get these a bit? <laughs> trying to hide them in my bedroom for a couple of days until there was nobody there for me to fucking see the back <laughs> inside. Like. <laughs> uh, a couple of weeks before that, I fell down the ladder pest and fucking went through my father's bedroom wall. <laughs> <laughs> and the hall, is, the hall is still there to this day. Oh, fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> So it's their um their anniversary is the same day as my father's birthday, I think it is. I yeah, I know my father's birthday. So I think I might offer to repair it from for free. It's been long enough now. How long has that been? <laughs> What's that, 20 years? Uh it was 25-ish year. Oh, and it was about 17 years. What, what, did you fall? Fall. what did you fall down? We were in a bunk bed at 25, like. I don't know, I'm not even 35 this year. Fuck me. <laughs> fuck um, boy. Fuck boy. I'm 35 this year, and I was probably 17, 18. Yeah. And I did that. Uh, about 18 years, years ago. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> probably about 18 years ago. Class. Yeah. Like fucking, I remember it happening as well because like, <laughs> it got, 
I'd gone up the stairs, like, that again undressed, and I was thinking to myself, fuck, I need to piss. And I was, like, trying to, like, pull my trousers up at the top of the attic opening. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Stumbled backwards, and then just thought I could, like, run backwards down the ladder, just fuck it, what? <laughs> so, like, fall on the ass, like, I could, down I the could, fucking... I could fucking... Didn't touch the ladder, ladder like, like... Yeah, boff into the wall, and I was like, fuck me. My legs, like, up in the air, wedged. Because <laughs> the ladder comes down from the attic, and then it stops at the bottom of the wall where I fell. Oh, fuck. And I fucking, like, wedged in this wall. <laughs> and my old man hates being woke up as well. So he comes up, like, what are you fucking doing? <laughs> yeah, I fell down the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fun, fun times. In love a good fun time, you know. Yeah. Just mentioning on the podcast, New Year's. I think I thought this was funny. So we went away with some of Charlotte's friends to, you know, like you went to on to a swingers cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Except we, yeah. we weren't swinging. <laughs> I was battered drunk, got out of the hot tub, and I found Charlotte's friends, like, sexy nighty. Right, how would you find it? I like, don't know. I don't know. It must have been in, like... <laughs> you were the... <laughs> like, just there in front of you, or you went looking for it. I, uh, like, how would you do it? You just don't find the sexy nighty of somebody else. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> I'm sure... Well, it happened. I thought it'd be funny to strip off completely naked and put it on. No one else found it funny. <laughs> <laughs> I found it funny. Eventually, the I, moment... I said that I said uh, showed the photo to my missus as well. She <laughs> but she only found it funny because it's somebody else. If it was, she'd be fucking filthy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. so, your... What was the repercussions of that? What did her boyfriend say? I they all warmed up to it eventually. They all <laughs> understood the plea of funny or in a, you know, funny or funny or in a. Funny or uh, I think Dan McNee was very funny all the other day, was he? <laughs> Fucking knob. <laughs> yeah, that was a strange one. Uh, go on. Do, if like, do, do you want to explain what he said? If it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, because I still think something. Um, just my shit. So, just to put the context, all right, Dan haven't... <laughs> Been in our not the cast chat, but the, the boys chat <clears throat> for a couple of weeks. He muted it, he hadn't posted nothing in there, no, no, no banter from him or nothing. And then all of a sudden, just pissed. I, I, I'm assuming he was pissed. Oh, that must have been white um, meal, but yeah. Um, post a fucking porn clip. <laughs> Of some bloke shagging like four women at the same time. Like one was wearing, he was wearing one as like a fucking dust mask. <laughs> <laughs> so he had like one go in and I don't know how he did it, but he had four women on a go or three, might have been three, I don't know. Three. Three you were there. You've had another look about. No, I think so. <laughs> just, just, just from my memory. Yeah. Um, so he put that in, which I thought was a bit strange because he never posts porn as such in it. Like, no, no. We don't really do that. Nobody does. Do we? No. No, nobody does. No. So uh, we thought that was a bit strange. And then a message and after, like, he tagged me, you, and Scott on it. Yeah. Was it just the three of us? Yeah. Saying that. Can I borrow your miss your girlfriends for the night or for the weekend or whatever it was (laughs) for an experiment? And I was like. I don't find that funny, Daniel. No, none of us find it um, funny. <laughs> Which no, I I don't know. It's kind of grown on me now that it's quite funny because it was so unfunny. Uh, I know, <laughs> yeah, I know. I wasn't fucking impressed, and <laughs> so it was one of the things when somebody says something and it takes a minute to, to realize yeah. I, what they've actually said. Mm-hmm. I looked at it and I was like, huh. And I was like, no, I'm on a minute. Oh, no, he's on about my missus. I fucking don't just say anybody else. And I was like, I'm on now. <laughs> so I was in the middle of washing dishes, so I wasn't texting. I was just sending voice notes, and I was like, Daniel, wobble your fucking head before I come down here and wobble it for you. I was like, fucking booming washing dishes. It pissed me off as well. My instant response. Yeah. And he was like, 
oh boys, but you always take a piss out of me. And I was like, yeah, we take the piss out of you, but we've never, like, said, let me try to give me a scissor. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's just not... Yeah. I've never said any... The only thing I've ever said about... Well, he's single now, but... The only thing I've ever said about a girlfriend was the one he was was with. Yeah. And I was just telling him how much of a cunt she is because he needed to see it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, that was the only time I've ever... I've never... The pad, well, and Scott's ex misses as well, like slagged <laughs> or said anything about any of the boys' misses because, like, most of the boys' misses, isn't it? You don't, yeah, <laughs> you can talk about exes, exes are free range, yeah, exes are free range, like, but well, I've been with my missus 11 years, like, don't really, you know, fucking actually, the, fucking... the ex thing, unless they passed away tragically. <laughs> Uh, yes, I wasn't impressed with that. Daniel knows I'm not impressed with that. I apologised. He was very apologetic. I do forgive him. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I'm just... I think he needs... Um, I think he needs to uh, have something to fucking... Well, assess he... my title. <laughs> Don't he? Now, let's be fucking... Fu- let's be honest, but... <laughs> He's autistic, isn't he? He is yeah. autistic. He has got no social filter whatsoever. No. Whatsoever. I mean, like, what he said, like, last year, before we went to Bloodstock, in your grand state, like... Oh, yeah. Everybody was like... <laughs> oh, yeah, Dale, we, oh, don't worry about it, Dale. We just go up a day later, like, it's going to be a grand show And then he was like, oh, I want to see Art of a Coward. <laughs> We've seen, like, I don't know how many fucking times before. Like, like so, again, um, it was one of flabbergasted moments. I was looking at my phone, reading this text, like, ah, with my hand on my eyes, like, fucking car crash. And I was like, Daniel, but what are you did, fucking doing? I know. He doesn't mean it maliciously, but it's just like, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I think he, uh, he does need some kind of fucking assessment though. <laughs> I think his brother has just been diagnosed and <laughs> let's not talk about his brother's business, Sonia. <laughs> What's that? No, no, it, it makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> like why you have one autistic child and you can have two, innit? Well, explain that to my brother. What do you mean? Well, your brother's not autistic, is he? Well, no, if you've got one, you might as well have two, innit? Uh yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what's it? Uh, so, blood start coming up as well? Yeah. Well, coming up in, what's that, five months? A couple of months, yeah. Uh, five months, um, it's, it's closer to half a year, Nick. No, it's not in August. Yeah, it's March. March, April, May, June, July, August, five months. Yeah, that's what I said. Five months, almost half a year. Ah, oh, no, I miss you too. Sorry. Sorry. I'm yeah. Just, I'm just paying for a Zoom professional again now because it's going to cut us off in 10 minutes. Oh, no. Yeah, don't worry. I'm just paying for it now. I'm not sure where it took my... Uh, where it took my uh, payment info from, but, you know... Your account has been upgraded. You will receive an email within 24 hours confirming the changes. All right. I guess it already had my uh, bank details. So we're either going to get cut off in 10 minutes or not. I didn't you have to pay for it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Well, whatever, that's paid for now, I guess. Yeah, so I'm not going to afford it again. I Yay! got a lot going on this year. A lot to go Oh, on. same here, but I got two weddings. What what yeah. you got going on? A stag do. Mm. A wedding. Well, right. So this week I got <laughs> Lamb of God up in Bristol. Right. And then March, April, I've got... A surprise night away for my missus' birthday. Uh huh. So I think I've like, prefer, like nailed it on the head without good egg on it. Like, yeah, can she? I can it? say it now because this wouldn't be out in time anyway. So, no, I've booked us a hotel. Mm-hmm. 
Um, got to babysit that for the kids and all that. Oh, yeah. Obviously, because they're not old enough to leave the house on their own. Yeah. Um, so, I booked a hotel and we're going to, it's in Swansea, so we're going to take her for some food, mm-hmm. do a little bit of shopping. Yeah. And then go for a night out with just the two of us. Mm-hmm. Quotation marks. Yeah. Um, so, when we walk into the bar downstairs in the hotel, her cousin's going to be waiting there. Uh, like best friend from work, her old school pal, and then the keys are going in the bowl, and, all that. and the keys are going in the bowl. <laughs> Dan, Mc- Dan McNeil will be there. Oh, can I do a video? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she doesn't know about it, she just knows that we're going away for the night, and that's it. That's nice. Yeah, I think she'd be nice and surprised, especially because they're gonna... oh, I don't think, oh, I think she's coming. Oh, I think she's coming. Sean, show me your toes. <laughs> yeah, no friend from work is coming, and the only time they ever like, really do anything is like work stools, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so yeah, so I think she'd be nice and surprised when she's there. But well, again, yeah, back to hotel and bump some uglies. Mm, hotel sex is good sex, but it's different, right? Oh yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. No, neither do I. No, it's like... It's like, they, I think they put something in the acorn. <laughs> I can tell I'm getting old as fuck now because, like, I yeah, with my work, I spend a lot of time in hotels. Um, yeah. In, the air conditioning dries me out so badly. Yeah. You wake up hungover, like, after chicken wings because you're so dehydrated. <laughs> I saw it. With the wings... Go on. Yeah, go on. With the wings thing... Yeah. It has the complete opposite effect on me. It bungs me up for a couple of days. But the diarrhea I have is immense. I know. And like, I wake up in the night. Well, I shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> but I know. All you said in this fucking videos and photos, you're actually shit in. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know how your bowels work. Mm, yeah. You're quite... <laughs> <laughs> I, I told Shalissa that I shit the bed the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she, what do you think of that? She takes it all in her stride, to be fair. I've put this girl yeah. through a lot in a short period of time. Yeah, she's still standing as well. She might just have a tit for one day and be like, I can't fucking handle it. Yeah, yeah, I'm fully expecting it. Yeah. But it won't be a surprise either. It doesn't get anyone's going to be shocked. Like, well, the thing is, that, uh, <laughs> that, what do you expect, though? Well, the thing is, she can only go as far as the fucking chain from the sink, innit? Well, yeah, she's got to find that key first, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, wings was good. It was like last episode mm. we were talking about wings six months ago. That shows how much was we... it? Yeah, genuine. Fuck no. Yeah. I come across a photo the other day of like, the first time we ever met. Uh, I, well, I ever went anyway. Me and Liam. Yeah. When he was like, when you were just skeleton and you were still hefty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, that was like fuck it. Yeah, that was an old photo. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, no, I still do prefer um, smoke out, so. Yeah, I just know. Yeah, it's that variety in it. It's like, the right, yeah, the variety's nice, but there's so much salt in them. Yeah, yeah, this is that. But I don't know, these ones seem fucking extra spicy as well. Huh. This time around, right? Do you think oh. that? Oh, yeah, they, they were getting hot, but... Mm-hmm. They were, good, they were all fresh, or they were yeah. always fresh. Every I, batch I had was fucking piping hot. Like. Mm, I, it's because everyone was out drinking because it was St. David's Day yeah. and they weren't eating chicken. Uh, the amount of anxiety I'm getting because Charlotte's Shalissa <laughs> shit <laughs> is listening to the podcast. She just messaged me now. So I'm listening to the third podcast. You're talking about making women dependent and then leaving after four years. You try that with me and you're dead. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, but... I think that was the last one I was listening to. Was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it was. I. <laughs> that was the last one I listened to. Because my missus was asking me. Yeah, it was actually because my missus was asking me. And last night she was like, "Her and her cousin were in bed drinking," and she was like, "So what? What was this podcast about?" So I was like, "Oh, about romance." <laughs> and she was my missus was gonna give me this fucking stupid look, and then I went on and I thought I told her. But obviously, I hadn't about the fucking thinking I had a kid for a couple of years story. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, ah, I've never heard this part. I was like, well, why wouldn't I tell her? I said, you just don't remember, obviously. Told her the old story. And she was like, nah, 
We've never told me I sat there like, no fuck you know. No. We, we're all leaking the dossier on ourselves now. I don't know why. This is pure Hillary Clinton's email. It's like, yeah, uh, the flight logs. The flight logs to Epstein's Island. <laughs> fuck. That's what I'm going quite yet, mind. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I wait. You said you want to do your conspiracy episodes, do Yeah. Forget yeah, it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that one day. Right, like, you'll have to write, like, notes, and then just bring a conspiracy to us. Man, there's so many. It's, fuck, it's a weekly thing. The Kanye West one has got me now. <laughs> Kanye is fucking boosting <laughs> off. <laughs> but have you seen what's happened now? No. It, right. He disappeared for, like, Two or three weeks, no one seen him, heard of him, nothing. Yeah. He's come back all of a sudden from nowhere. Yeah. He's like two inches taller, <laughs> thinner, and has got a wife. Okay. Who looks like Kim Kardashian. And he's like back friendly with Balenciaga and all that shit as well. And I was like, fuck, that's a bit mad. They've replaced him with a clone, but... That's what they say, is it? Clone Clone Oh, fuck it up. Uh, I fuck it. I, I think he's great, see? Mm. Oh, I yeah. watch his video. He's fucking batshit, isn't he? Oh, yeah. That's pure manic depressive. I love it. Batshit crazy. I do like a crazy person, though. Mm. Oh, it's good. Yeah. The world needs them. The world them. needs them. <laughs> 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 the world needs crazy people. The world, the world needs ghouls. Yeah. Oh, Kanye be a ghoul. Oh, yeah. He'd, cool. he'd be a fucking cool and half, you would. Well, he's currently in um background of our ghoul chat. Yeah, of, um, he is, I. Yeah, with the... <laughs> with, uh... with a particular flag behind him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's not dodgy at all, is it? Uh, the stuff he was saying was so funny, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, he's fucked, man. There are certain doctors trying to diagnose me and stop me doing what I'm going to do. I'm not going to mention their race. Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen him on... Um, it's called Drink Champs. No. You seen that? No. That's a podcast. This um, a rapper and a producer, an old school rapper called Nori does his podcast and he has rappers and people from like, the hip hop world on and he's just get like stoned and pissed mm. and just chat shit like and um and yeah he's on there he doesn't smoke weed doesn't drink and he just fucking like goes off all he that he's like looking at each other like this like fuck it hell are we gonna put this out he's not yeah. drinking don't drink we don't smoke no fucking well what does he do or fucking loses his head I can dig it I'm feeling perhaps it perhaps that's what he needs but perhaps he just needs a fucking just a big rip of a bong and a fucking yeah. pint of strong bow and he'd be alright like I'd be like well, the Jews ain't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, to be honest. Yeah, Bong Ripple sort him out. I think a pint of Strongbow has caused plenty of racism in the valley, so <laughs> many a slur has been acted over a white lightning, like. Yeah. Fucking fight squash and racist Jews, like. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. I haven't seen, like, a strong bow on tap or nah, I used to dark coming up the shop with cans fucking cans of strong bow like, it used to be a big thing right? strong bow I still think it is dark fruits is still really popular dark yeah. fruits is yeah dark fruit but your strong bow is not like I haven't had one in years it tastes like vinegar no. do you think so yeah yeah it's a bad oh, side yeah. I love it I love a strong bow yeah you like racism as well <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I wear a white hoodie. What are you on about? Ah, yeah, white hood, but it comes over your face for two eye holes. <laughs> um, um, yeah, oh, I used to drink a lot of Strongbow. A lot of Strongbow. <laughs> I responded in to the, the cl- clan rallies, wasn't it? <laughs> Special edition cans, like. <laughs> I used to look for more well fit, huh? Yeah. And, um, Put it up crosses a- and then burning them down. <laughs> <laughs> Fixes racist track, doesn't it? <laughs> but um, yeah, on a Friday, he'd stop in a shop or a garage, wherever, he'd buy eight cans of Strongbow. Yeah. And the two of us would drink them all in the van on the way home. That's, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> you must 
have been, yeah. you must have been pissing by three acid, bud. Yeah, and we didn't live far from each other. So he'd like drop me off home and he'd be like, ah, 20 minutes and I'd pick her back up. I will go down the pub then. <laughs> but he would only drink Strongbow from a can. Glasses to up classes, huh? No, it, uh, like the zinky taste. Oh. <laughs> prefer the zinky taste out of the can. He didn't yeah. like it from a tap. <clears throat> it was very rare you'd see him. I think he only had sort of like two pubs where he would drink a strong bow on tap just because yeah. they had it perfect, but he loved his, Aye, uh, their, their bloody pipes. Cans. Were, their pipes were so dirty that he thought they were zinky enough for him. Like, yeah, all the pipes, zinky. like, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We'd be mad though because we were drinking strong uh, too much of a fucking complete turny now because we drink a straw board we mm. go to the pub and then you start drinking pints of worthy. Mm. Well, well strong bow for starters, you know. Mm. But he'd uh oh, he'd cut his lungs as well, like inhale them like. Yeah, he'd be like three or four mouthfuls to a pint. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be patient here to drink them in the car, like for a five minute drive. Oh no, it'd be no pace in the car either. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a five minute drive, but we'd be in like Combran. <laughs> we'd drive it over at Combran, and then when I say like eight cans, it'd be four each. It's not like, oh, you have six in mm-hmm. to move four <laughs> each, but. <laughs> fucking inhaling bow for show, like. Yeah, that's just countryside fucking mentality, Phil. <laughs> just cunt mentality, you know. <sighs> but the fa- farmers are mad fair. Because <laughs> their local pubs and that are just so far out of the way, you wouldn't get fucking. Only time police would come up as if it was a fucking murder or a fight. <laughs> I, um, I know one boy who's far, I used to get found quite often for a, asleep at the wheel of his truck in a bush. Well, was it the same bush? Or was he just parking no. up for the night? No, he'd fall asleep at different points. Very good. He's dead now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, Absolutely bushed out, like, bush light. No, he, um, like my mother, but he had a farming accident. Oh, yeah. What happened? Yeah. I, uh, crushed, not by a bailout. I want to say, I think it's the right guy I'm thinking of. They were put in, like, a trailer on a tractor. Yeah. And one of them had rolled when he was itching it on. And oh, fucking uh, squashed, like. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fucking fun. It's a lot of farmers more like that, but yeah, you can see him. Absolutely. Evil, squashed. <laughs> oh, detective, cause of death, squashed. Well, no, nah, because when <laughs> it was oh. so obvious, like the what happened to my mother. What the fuck? Talking about what? the sad passing of your mother. What Liam said in the chat. Oh, uh, no. That's all. Did she write that? Did she write down with this prank? He bought me and dropped Kit Murphy's. No. Oh, but. <laughs> He bought me a fucking pint of cider. Yeah. And I like, put his arm around me. He's like, I'm so sorry for what I said. I was like, I forgot about <laughs> this cider was nasty. <laughs> so yeah. I started to drink it. And I was like, I don't want this. I just turned around and looked him dead in the eyes when I got, I can't drink it. It's just too bitter. I can't be through it. Just fucking launched him into the town. <laughs> <laughs> I did see a pint flying yeah, over Yeah, it, <laughs> it was me. It was me. <laughs> um, and he just stood there all like straight to sometimes he just stands his arms full in he just looked to me like side and he went like ah oh, fair enough that <laughs> <laughs> was a £9.50 pint. we'll get him on next mm. episode and he'll explain what he said oh I don't think he will no why not uh, it's done no it? oh yeah it's done but it'd be funny for the <laughs> podcast <laughs> alright then on if then you- if you were all right with her. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? A ghoul court. Explain what the yeah. fuck you said. Yeah, stand in front of the ghouls and explain <laughs> yourself. Oh, but when he said it, I was, oh, we're just cock teasing everyone up. But when he yeah. said it, I was like, I'm so glad it wasn't me who said that. Fucking <laughs> yeah. hell. I used the wrong, it, it was the wrong time. Oh, yeah. That's all it was. It was the wrong time. It was like, <laughs> Coming out to the anniversary of her death. <laughs> just done like January as it is. I was yeah. trying to forget it was coming, trying to walk yeah. by myself, just forget it was coming. Then he said that, I was like, bring back oh. all my feelings. You wanted a bathroom, didn't you? Yeah. Right, we'll stop talking about that now and we'll get him on to talk about it next week. All right, Dave. Don't Bye. tell him or just put him on a spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think if we tell him, it's going to be a. 
I can't you, then sing. Look he you won't di- fucking show up, like. Look you dinosaur collection in the background. It's class, huh? Yeah. What are their names? Uh, um, that's Rex from fucking... Toy Story. Toy Story. Um, that's the fucking hybrid thing from Jurassic Park. Yeah. What's it called? <laughs> fucking... Rex, T Rex, rap the thing. Out. I, what, he's, he's bigger than my dog. What's the size of this? Look. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he blinded himself with a. He fucking got you, but nipped him. He just smacked me in the fucking head. <laughs> yeah, he's bigger than my dog, but <laughs> when he had it for Christmas, I set it up to put his fucking legs in that on, and my dog was just gorgeous oh, as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's only had a new pet, like. Hmm. Yeah, he's not really into dinosaurs much anymore. Every kid goes through a dinosaur. I didn't really get a dinosaur phase. I was trained instead, man. Thomas the Tank. Yeah. I like, like, done all his fucking bedroom out in dinosaurs. And then about three months later, he was like, that dinosaurs are most Harry Potter now. <laughs> <laughs> Class. <laughs> oh, you took him to Harry Potter World the other day, didn't you? Yeah, that was all right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, considering I can't stand fucking Harry Potter, I was all right. Oh, but I mean, Mrs. made me watch Harry Potter over Christmas. I really enjoyed it. Yeah? Yeah, Wizards is sick as fuck, but... Yeah, I just, it's not on my thing. I, I'd never watched fucking... Um, what was it called? Lord of the Rings, either. Uh, I got a fucking long history with Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, no way. <laughs> no, I never, I've never got, like, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, nothing. Talking about King Witches and Wizards, I saw one of my friends on Facebook she posted a photo of a bunch of girls sat round a table. And no, they were all right. sat, sat on the floor. And she was like, I'm so lucky to be part of such a supportive coven. Coven? Yeah, they're all there being witches. No. You can guess what they look like, but... Uh, <laughs> fuck fuck's sake. Fuck, boy. Fuck, boy. Um, yeah, women are... Why, so women are allowed to pretend to be witches now. That's totally acceptable. But when I call myself an imper- imperial wizard, like, people don't yeah. like it. Nah. It was um, a couple of months ago. We'd gone to Spoons on a Friday. Yeah. Me, Scott, and Dan. There's plenty of fucking goblins in Spoons as it's well as witches. But... And um, this girl come over and knew Dan. <laughs> And she started talking about her crystal collection and how she had to fucking... <laughs> when she went home, she was going to put their fucking her crystals in the window to charge them, with the yeah, full moon. Yeah. And I just looked out the window and I was like, ah, what are you on about? <laughs> I was a full moon tonight. I was like, ah, I'm looking at the sky now. There is no full moon. <laughs> I went on my phone and checked. I was like, full moon is Sunday. It's Friday today. And she was like, oh. what? Like, run outside the spoon just be a guy. And she was like, oh, I can't believe I got my fucking full moon days wrong. I was like, ah, you're not much of a witch, are you? You no. fucking idiot. Get hell, bud. Yeah, she was a bit of a cunt. Yeah? Nah. Purple eh? No, I don't just... And then people... Are, I think yeah. she could see that, like, me and Scott were a bit alternative and thought that we might have been a bit edgy. Yeah. I think she was just trying to be a bit edgy. <laughs> and it's just like I haven't got the edge. Like you know when someone's bullshit, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I just haven't got the. I just haven't got the edge for bullshit. She's just like talking <laughs> absolute waffle, and I'm just stuck there like, <laughs> like brick top or fucking uh, lock stock with two fucking bars. He does that proper gormless like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just like I look at her and she was like, "Oh yeah, I got charged with crystals." The phone's like, "Not uh, tonight, you're not the cunt." <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? What do they do with their charged crystals? Crystal suppository, <laughs> like. Yeah, uh, no. Fucking make fucking love potions and that probably. Mm. Yeah. It's a lot of shit, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's a lot of shit. I mean if stones really healed people, why aren't you NHS using them? Ah, because they're cheap, but ah, mm, conspiracy is should... bad. <laughs> There's a conspiracy in stones, stuff in stones, but and there's stuff in yeah. thing is though, we can <laughs> talk about like doing catman and fighting demons in the astral realm. So, uh, yeah, maybe yeah. we're witches as well. Like, yeah, well, it's I know I've had my my sack eyes fucking booted off again. Yeah, like big time. Um, 
there's like a sarcoid forum on Facebook. Have, have you tried Christos? No, but but <laughs> every time I posted something on it, like I I went in to see specialists and stuff, so like I haven't really started any medication yet to like start getting rid of it or relieve it. Yeah. But my skin is driving me fucking nuts how much is burning and itching. Mm. I've got like photos about my tattoos. That's because you bowed off a witch, but you you were cursed. Probably. But you were cursed. <laughs> fucking like I have it with a doll. <laughs> <laughs> I thought somebody pinched my fucking back and my edge was taking my A. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, so I put a photo up on the forum on Facebook of like how oh, sort of bad my tattoos were. And it's like yeah. anybody else for sucking their tattoos and like how would you relieve it to start the steroids or the methotrexate? Like yeah. About three or four people have tagged this woman uh, in it. There was like, oh, she, uh, she's cured my sock. Right? She does wonders for people. So I clicked on her page and she's a fucking a herbal healer. Okay. And like... Is this like herbal or is she going to realign your chakras and stick a thumb in your ass? No, like herbal, like fucking yeah, different kind of pet, different kind of different kinds of leaves uh, and peppers and shit. I, car, like. I thought you were going to say different types of pets, yeah. <laughs> Different types of Pepsi, Pepsi yeah. leaves. If you take fucking no, Pepsi Max but, and Pepsi Cherry and mix it together, who is yeah, getting sarcoid, but Pepsi, Pepsi Cherry. It's worth a shot, bud. Yeah. I think loads of people say that they've she's cured them and this and that and the other, and the Facebook page has got good reviews, but I don't know, for the gist of it, I think you tell her what you've got, yeah. what you're suffering with, or what you're sort of what affects you. Yeah. And she just makes up these like fucking little herbal tablets or creams and stuff and <laughs> sends them off in a post. But I don't know what the fuck, I don't know how much you are. <clears throat> My dad was on in fucking the CBD syringes. That's fucking mad. Yeah. Listen to this now. So my stepmother's sister. Yeah. Um, a cancer. When her ovaries and a fucking woman, all this. Oh, fucking hell. Wasn't giving, like, good news. Mm. She started on chemo and everything like that. She started taking the CBD paste. Yeah. So, is a broker sells it, do I know? Oh, well, I don't know my father not knows. He sells her a syringe. Probably about four inches long. It's just this, like, pre-filled syringe, black paste in it, of CBD. Um, so she's been taking these syringes of CBD, like yeah. put a dab on your mouth there, you can do whatever. So they open it up to to, to take, take a fucking ovaries out or a womb out or something like that. Mm. When they gone into her stomach, when they cut it open, they discovered a fucking tumor, the size of a large banana, <laughs> on her intestines. Oh fuck! But it was dead. It was okay. black and it was dead. Huh. And they couldn't believe how it had done it because chemotherapy doesn't kill off cancer. It shrinks the tumour down, apparently. The yeah. body fights it off that okay, way. Okay, yeah. I, I might have had that wrong, but it doesn't kill. Mm, it doesn't mm. block it off. It shrinks it down. Thinking about when my grandfather we went back and forth with his um, things, he would tell you how much it had shrunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Not... It's yeah. dying and falling off. So they think that that was the fucking, the CBD had killed the mm. cancer. And she's had this like miraculous fucking all clear. That's amazing. Yeah. So my father's been taking them CBD syringes. They're about 250 pound a syringe. Fuck me. Yeah. So what? my father's been taking them because he's like, <laughs> I think since he had his heart attack, he's just worried about other things occurring. Oh, that'll shit you up, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's been taking these, but the blog also does these pre-filled syringes full of THC. <laughs> and my father, Christmas time, was saying to me about, uh, I don't know, I joked about going outside for a joint or something like that. Mm. I haven't smoked weed for years, but I joked about, dropped a joke about fucking, I'm for a joint. And I was like, oh, I just smoke weed. But I thought, oh, you asked me to get weed or something. Mm-hmm. No, like... Back in, he said, when you come back, I'll start in trouble. So I mean, he says, mad, I got these syringes. And this, he said, it's fucking nuts. He said, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So was, what? <laughs> and he was like, he said, I got the syringe. He said, it was nearly 300 pounds. The THC ones were more than mm. the CBD. Mm. He said, I bought the syringe. He said, and you're supposed to have a P amount like, on your tongue and swallow yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
last that's your dust. So she got it. He said, Well, me and your stepmother had one of these pee doses. She had to go to bed because she was fucking wiped in. <laughs> it was like that war. Absolutely cool. Like, like, fucking like... spazzing out on the set. My old man's a fucking lorry driver, right? Yeah. Heavy haulage. <laughs> He sent him off from work the next day, but <laughs> he was so fucked up going to work. Um, he stopped his lorry. He would go into this fucking place and he goes like probably like, once a week or whatever. Mm. He stopped his lorry on the side of the road. It was like, ah, <laughs> fuck am I going? Fucking money blank. <laughs> on the yard, he's like, I'm turning around and coming back. I got to go home. His boss looked at him and he was like, you were fucking wrecked. Why do you need to fucking go home? And he just fucking slept it, completely slept it off. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking, should we all chip in and get one in for blood stock or <laughs> Why the fuck not? Like, oh, I could just make space cakes again and get mangled on him. I don't know. I don't know. We have. I had three it. voices in my head last time, but <laughs> three voices. But... They're strong, are they? Oh, I never had nothing like that before. Ah. I had three voices in my head. One was like, everybody hates you. And then the other one was like, <laughs> no, no. No, it's not that bad. Some people don't like it, but not everyone can like it. And then it was like a referee in the middle was trying to like <laughs> give him the, the fucking equal balance. <laughs> and uh Yeah, man, those cakes will do ah. Huh? <laughs> fuck me, bud. You yeah. pause this a minute, I gotta go have a piss. Well, so it's been an hour, bud. Is it? Yeah. I just wanna call it and call it, bro. Yeah, keep it around an hour, Mark. <laughs> So, right, same time next week. <laughs> same time next week. We'll put Liam in the hot seat. Nice one. Bad. Bad. Bad.